Hello, welcome back to Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, All Things Wrestling, and today we're going to be looking at all the WWE and TNA news of the last four days. We start with a story from Dave Meltzer, which he says WWE is already planning long term for WrestleMania 34 and they've already got their main event in mind. It will be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. The current goal is to have Roman Reigns replace John Cena as a long term top babyface of the company. Ugh, that's all I can say to that. Uh, it's still unknown if Reigns will defeat The Undertaker or if Lesnar will hold the Universal title for the entire year. But the overall plan is to have Lesnar, Reigns th- at 34. Why? They tried it at 32. And we all booed the hell out of it because he beat Triple H. That's meant to be his defining moment and we all went, fuck off. And we're going to do a fuck off again if you do it, guys. So please don't. Uh, oh. And now Dave Meltzer comes back again saying that Brock Lesnar is expected to be working more days over the next year in what will be his final year of his current contract with WWE. While Lesnar won't be working a full-time schedule, his schedule will be more open now that his UFC career is over. Uh, And regarding Bill Goldberg, the door is said to be open if Goldberg wants to stick around past WrestleMania. At this point, there is no word on if Goldberg will continue to matches past Wrestlemania or he will just leave I'll have to keep you updated about that I hope Goldberg does stick around what's he got to lose to be fair and Lesnar nice to actually do some bloody work ooh and now we've got a good story John Cena will have the honour of inducting Kurt Angle into the WWE Hall of Fame why okay I get it would have made sense if Angle inducted Cena but Cena wasn't the biggest part of Angle's career. Angle was the biggest part of Cena's career. So it didn't make sense to me. I would have imagined it would have been Austin because that was the main feud of Kurt Angle's WWE tenure. So anyway, let's uh, move straight on from that. But that's very uh, good to know that John Cena's inducting him. Can't wait to hear what he says. And I definitely need to check out the induction ceremony Friday the 31st of March Live on the WWE Network Oh, and now Rusev is expected to be out of action for two months Following surgery on his left shoulder He was reportedly putting off the surgery in hopes of being able to compete at WrestleMania But the timing did not work out in his favour This is why Rusev was destroyed by the big show at Fastlane And why the pairing with Jinder Mahal was ended so abruptly Oh, Dad Ruru, I feel sorry for you. Please get feel better soon, Ruru. Oh, and um, regarding the rumours of Hulk Hogan appearing at WrestleMania, Eric Bischoff mentioned on his podcast he didn't expect Hogan to be at the show because of the recent events in Hogan's personal life. With that being said, Bischoff hasn't talked to Hogan about Hogan's relationship with WWE, but Hulk Hogan actually did give us an update himself after this. Uh, with all the speculation, he tweeted out... Maniacs, I have no plans to be at WM33. I will be at Hogan's Beach Shop Orlando on International Docks, March 29th and April 30th. See you at HBS, Brother HH. Well, that's good to note. I'd like to mention his autograph signing f- finishes at, I think, 4 5 that day. So he's completely free for the evening. Just saying. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, ooh. Uh, and we've got a rumour that WWE talking about having Roman Reigns switch brands to Smackdown Live later this year. The idea was Reigns would have fresh heels to feud with. He would replace John Cena as a star of the brand. Because John Cena's about to be gone. And it would keep Lesnar and Reigns apart for most of the year. So that massive feud when he goes back to Raw would be fresh. What you think of that is, uh, what you think, but I think SmackDown's going to go shit if Reigns is a bloody face of it. Don't do it, please. Please don't do it. I, want, I like my SmackDown live. Don't ruin it. Uh, ooh, and David Bruin announced yesterday that they will unleash the first ever edition of Southpaw Regional Wrestling on the David Bruin Network tomorrow. Uh, This was on Friday, it's now Sunday. I haven't looked into this. Apparently it's on the YouTube channel. First four episodes on YouTube, but not the network, apparently. That's what my mate Joe told me. So, 
Take that where you will. I need to actually look into it, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, for those who have seen Five Dollar Wrestling when it was being produced by HighSpots.com, it's pretty obvious that this is at least somewhat inspired by that project. The idea is to take an old school Southern wrestling in a comedic way. There's a picture of Southport floating around with individual debris, and as far as back to September, Lou Gallows will reprise his Sex Ferguson character which he portrayed on a few highsparks.com DVD releases, but the character has been rechristened as Tex Ferguson on the South Ball show. You had, like, John Cena as an announcer, and that's all I know. I, it looks really good. I need to watch it. I wish I watched it before filming this, but we did not, because it's, like, 1 o'clock in the morning on Sunday night. Oh, technically, that's Monday morning. Oh, and now we found out that JBL and Ron Simmons will be inducting Teddy Long into the WWE Hall of Fame March 31st, 2017 on the WWE Network. Uh, Simmons was managed by Teddy Long in WCW during the early 90s. Uh, JBL said, it's an incredible honour. I've always thought that inducting somebody into the Hall of Fame is one of the greatest privileges you can get because it's an honour of a lifetime for the person going in. Uh, JBL and Simmons' close relationship with Long makes it more special. The brawlers known as the APA travelled the road to Long and the 2016 inductee, The Godfather. We rode thousands and thousands miles together for years. Me, Ron, Teddy and Godfather in one car. Uh, it's real special. Ron's in the Hall of Fame, Godfather's in the Hall of Fame and now Teddy is too. I'm the only one left, he joked. Their friendship beside JBL believes Long is one of the worthiest participants of the sports entertainment ultimate honour. Ted Long is a groundbreak is a groundbreaker, said um, JBL. He worked his way from the ring crew to become a manager of one of the greatest tag teams of all time in Doom. He was a referee and became one of the most colourful G- GAMs of all time. Ted Long has done it all. There's if there's anyone to go into the Hall of Fame, it's him. I would like to just say here now, congratulations, Teddy. You are my favourite GM of all time. You will go one-on-one with the Undertaker. We can have a tag team match. Holla, holla, holla. God, I loved my dad back in the day with Teddy Long. Please bring him back. I love Daniel Bryan, but Teddy Long's the best. Oh, uh, but yeah, congratulations. Teddy Long. It is good that you're going in there. I cannot wait to watch that ceremony. Uh, oh, and there's several rumours uh, going around the back, there's backstage heat on Alexa Bliss for him in ring work not being up to par. WWE producer Road Dog shot down these rumours when asked if they were true. Uh, some guy put um, Road Dog last week's match wasn't the best, but is this for real? And he put, Hell no! She's adored by everyone. She's a star dude and everyone knows it. This is what's wrong with the internet, lol. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, Road Dog. Now we go to the most controversial story of the week. WWE Superstar Paige is the. Uh, now we go to the most. Uh, look off. Now we go to the most controversial story of the week. WWE Superstar Paige is allegedly the victim of an online hacking strike in which the cloud accounts of various celebrities were compromised. There are pages on both Reddit and Twitter that have published various new photos and videos of a person that appears to be Paige. Uh, people in the wrestling industry are already commenting on the situation, including X Park, who wrote, Dear person who did that to Paige, that guy you're looking. I may have missed something in that quote, but that's what I've got there. Um... Both Paige and her mother commented on the situation. Paige said, Personal and private photos of mine were stolen. Unfortunate that they were shared public without my consent. And her mother wrote, People get hacked, unfortunately. My daughter had pictures and videos shared from years ago. My husband and I support her 100%. No fault of her own. Uh, we had a couple more people uh, chime in on this. JTG, a crime time, was one of them. He put, So seven books... Production. Who do I talk to about auditioning for the role of Xavier Woods in the upcoming Page movie? <laughs> Sorry, I know I shouldn't laugh at that, but that's bloody great, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah, allegedly one of the pictures was of Page uh, fucking 
what appears to be Xavier Woods uh, from a few years ago, by the look of it, apparently. I have not seen the photo. I've just read and uh, watched other people's videos regarding these photographs. Uh, Brad Maddox was also apparently involved. So, uh, yeah, that that's why I laughed at that. It's great. Uh, Brad Maddox uh, chimed in on this as well. Uh, he wrote the following about Xavier Woods' alleged involvement in Paige's nude photograph leak. Wait, did he leak him? Why would he leak a picture of himself? Uh, okay. Uh, about taking him off TV. They shouldn't. A new day is such an irrelevant group, and that you can't imagine without them. Subtle joke. If it was Wood selfie leaked, New Day is one of the few acts that allowed to be sexual. Imagine if Vince pulled back on that freedom now. Can't speak for Philly, but I hope Brooklyn behaves himself. Wrestling crowd a unique beast, though. Because he knew they kept backstage, the percentage was set with Seth talent, so it shouldn't be punished from stolen content. Ignore the leaks and move on. Uh, Xavier was was not at a live event. Um, was it Saturday, Friday? Um, after this all happened, yeah, you know, Saturday, it's because he was hosting a gaming show, not because of this. Just to confirm that to all of you now, he is not. As far as I'm aware, had any repercussions as of yet. I don't know what his involvement is. Just, just, I'm just telling you, he's not. Uh, and then Maddox come to WWE to take action against Paige. Paige shouldn't be fired. She's a victim here. Full stop. The involvement of NXT Women's Title put on puts WWE women's tough spot, and all the company takes action to set an example. Paige shouldn't be judged for anything else that came out yesterday. They were private consenting acts. Uh, apparently, one of them included the WWE NXT Women's Championship. With come on it, I've heard it's uh, quite disgusting, especially when wrestlers actually kiss that fucking thing. Ugh, fucking hell! Talent shouldn't be fired for minor drug use, but a pinch of coke coming off a title could be punished. Can't imagine what we'd think of the big gold bar of the camera frames existed during Ric Flair's era. Bloody hell, imagine that. Uh, but yeah, that's a very big controversial story. But yeah, I just do feel sorry for Paige. She is the victim here. It's a horrible thing that happened to her. I do hope she's dealing with this properly. Alberto's helping her through it, I'm hoping. You just gotta think, imagine if that was you. It's not nice, but all we're gonna have to do is move on and just kind of try and forget about it. And uh, if WWE's history is anything to go by, she'll be Divas Champion within a month. Oh, wait, no. Can't say that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Seth Rollins, Dick Pick, World Champion in a month. Paige will be Women's Champion within a month. Sorry, Paige. Sorry. Bit controversial, but oh well. Uh, oh, and now next story. Zack Ryder will be doing a new web series on WWE's YouTube channel called Z. True Comeback Story. The follow-up to his original Z, True Lot. Lo True Long Island's story series. Basically, he's following up his web series. So, congratulations, Isaac. you got to do something where you're having massive recovery time from your knee surgery, aren't you, mate? So, I want to check that out. Uh, ooh, and now, our last story. Rebby Hardy posted the following update about legal issues between the Hardys and Impact Wrestling. Get prepared for bad language. TNA sent an absolutely laughable legal proposal... RE trademark uses and ownership. <sighs> we tried to play nice, truly. Oh well, it seems really hurt. They also seem really hurt about that fuck that owl. Hashtag. Cute. Fun fact seeing Joe Benjamin never signed one piece of paper stating TNA could ever use broadcast or profit from his image likeness. Fun fact Maxwell was never legally cleared to work appear on camera. Want to check the TV? child labour laws and get back to me TNA. Fun fact, nearly every notable actually used that makes hashtag broken Matt Hardy broken Matt Hardy was developed by me in a waffle house. Yummy. Fun fact, trying to present someone from legally making money is torturous uh, interference of business and a huge offence. How about that uh, cease and desist. Fun fact, I filed for the hashtag broken trademark when all the shady business from uh, Jeff Jarrett and Anthem got back to me weeks before his contract was up. If only my husband was that important, 
why not file a play? Oh, and don't... and I don't know. Before his contract was up, before you found out it did, how about every other former talent that's still working on the return name gimmick with that issue? Uh, wouldn't that look weird and court? Yeah. And the st- store I've been running for five plus years, 100% by myself, with my original designs and my solo efforts investment. Yeah, they want to cut. They want to cut. Theme theme song I composed, recorded, and graciously allowed them to use. Gracias. Uh, when they were having licensing issues with music, they were cl- they're claiming that too. If the character is TNAs, then where are the format sheets? Don't exist. Where are the scripts? Can't be produced. Don't exist. And best part, really surprised, the Hardy Show was behind the scenes recording of our entire creative process this whole time. See you soon and fuck that owl. Well, that was lovely. I agree with her. I do. TNA, you're overstepping your bounds. You clearly did not create this character. It's Matt's. Just because they're tr- leaving, you want to become assholes. So, thank you for watching this newsroom. It's been a short news episode today. There's not been that much news, so sorry about that. I'll try and have some more stuff for Wednesday. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like if you have. Subscribe to see more content, and I'll catch you later.